I'm Tony Brown. In a moment, slave values. I, most people understand that everything originated somewhere, and if you don't know where it originated, the circumstances, it's kind of hard to know what the current contemporary relevance is. There's a whole body of history from Adam and Eve until today. This body of history becomes just an empty memory unless it can be used. I'm not interested in goodwill sessions. I'm interested in the brother on the corner today who doesn't have a chance because of what happened to him during slavery. I want to reconstruct that personality. I want to make it whole again. I want him to live again. I don't want him to feel superior. I want him to know where he came from. I want to know the contributions that he has made. I want to know the intellectual inclinations that his people have exhibited, and now I want him to do it today. I want him to revive that. I want him to tell his mother and his sister, rise and unite the black man's back. Uh, most of us who have studied these subjects have come to the conclusion that racism is a lie, uh, that it was created for economic uh, and social and political advantage, and therefore we can understand why, following that theory, that someone denigrated blacks. In other words, it was to their advantage. Sure. That's why they did it. They didn't do it because they didn't have anything else to do. Now the converse comes, why does one want to make the opposite case? In other words, they've made the case that everything throughout history was always white. All the characters in the Bible are white. Uh, everyone who's ever done anything worthwhile either was white or it was a white civilization. Conversely, everything, who, people who have taken away from civilization, who have never contributed, always came from non-white civilization, in particular, outside of Europe. What is the point, the relevance, of constructing the history that you're constructing? Uh, is, is the point just to obviate the, the, the racist argument? What is the relevance of going back through the Bible going back through history and documenting the fact that many, if not most of these people, particularly in Africa, and the, the Middle East is basically Northeast Africa, Absolutely. is it not? Absolutely. Egypt is Africa. So That's we right. see in history books, these things take, took place in Egypt. Africa is rarely ever associated with Egypt. We see that this take, took place in the Middle East, but the Middle East is sort of like it's in uh, Iceland. It's rarely associated with being uh, in, in Africa. What is the relevance of, of, of the argument you make? What is the relevance of digging out these facts? Well, if you don't have a place in the human family, you are displaced by definition. And we have been displaced. Our people now are looking for ambition, something to root a sense of purpose.